Hey everyone, today we'll be installing Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in a Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series. We will be using the Nifty City Kit for this upgrade. I'll show you how to remove the dash, how to install the module, where to hide it, and I'll show off the system to you guys. Once we're done, you'll be able to purchase your own kit from Nifty City and install it yourself like a pro. Let's get right into it. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to shift our focus over to the air vents. We have to remove those first before we remove any of the other dash parts. Go ahead and use a dash removal tool. Stick it in from the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter. Balance pressure would be great. And then go ahead and just pull it out towards you, just like that. And then go ahead and do it for the other side. The next thing you want to do after removing the air vents, you then want to go ahead and remove this top plastic trim. Put your fingers down at the back there and pull it off, just like that, and then work your way around to the front. It's just all on clips, so go ahead and do that. There we go. And then you're good to do it on the other side. Remove that clip underneath the plastic trim there. Once you've removed the two bolts from the screen, go ahead and pry it forward towards you. There we go, just like that. Once you've removed the screen, go ahead and disconnect all the connectors at the back of the screen, and then go ahead and put it aside for now. Okay, and once you've removed the screen, we then need to work our way down the dash. So go ahead and remove this trim over here where the line separates, just from the bottom, and then pull it out towards you. Boom, just like that. And then you need to go ahead and remove one bolt, which is right over here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and remove this piece just like that. And then once you're removing this trim, you then need to go ahead and remove the connector for the quick start button. Go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. We then want to go ahead and remove the bolt there, the bolt there, just to those two for now. Okay, once you've removed the top two bolts and the bottom two bolts, then can go ahead and remove the whole climate control piece. In order to do that, you need to get a good grip from the center here and the top there. They are on very tight clips, so you want to go ahead and pull with a balance. Let's go ahead and pull it on both sides. So there we go, and go ahead and pull out the whole unit. And then you can go ahead and remove the hedge unit. I found it easier to just disconnect all the connectors and put it on a flat surface uh, and see what connections I need to tap into with Nifty City. So I'll go ahead and pinpoint them out while I'm installing it. So here's the Nifty City harness. It's the big connector, the largest one there behind the hedge unit. Uh, and then you have one other connector, which is the sound out. So the audio from the module to the hedge unit, uh, it fits right there. Those are the only two you need to tap in behind the hedge unit. And then you need to go ahead and connect this side of the harness from the Nifty City harness to the module and the LVDS connection for the screen and that's pretty much it. You feed all the wires down the dash and connect the module last. Okay, after you've gone ahead and connected the relevant uh, connectors behind the hedge unit and the screen and connected the module up, go ahead and try and switch over, see if the system comes up. So just click and hold home, and there you go, you've switched over to the system. Go ahead and open up autoplay. Once you've opened up autoplay, connect via Bluetooth, see if CarPlay turns on. Once you're happy with everything, you can go ahead, neaten up the wires, throw them back into the dashboard and feed all the wires down and connect the module last and hide it behind the carpet. So far, I've put this control unit and the screen back together. Once you've fed all the wires down the dashboard, you can go ahead and hide the module behind the carpet there. Are you wanting to connect the rear screens? Go ahead and connect a HDMI cable from the input here, throw it up to the front of the dashboard and connect it to the HDMI input on the module itself. Select HDMI source on the remote here. CarPlay screen should come up. You can go ahead and clip everything back together and you're good to go. Okay, the car's back together, fully back together, back to OEM, fresh looking. Let's go ahead and switch over to the Nifty City unit. Click and hold home for two seconds. That should switch over to the system. Cool. Go ahead and open up the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto app and then we'll go ahead and find that Bluetooth name in the top right corner on our Bluetooth settings. And there we go. It's come up on my Bluetooth settings. Tap it. Wait a few moments. Use CarPlay, and for the initial setup, it might take up to two minutes to connect, but other than that, it should be pretty quick. I'll keep recording. There we go. Easy as that. Test the audio, make sure it works. 
If it doesn't, go ahead and click audio until you reach the aux channel and then put up the volume. There we go, so that volume works. In order to go back to the uh, module, you just go ahead and click Nifty City and that should bring you to the main apps menu. You have your applications here, the Android built-in Android applications, Netflix, YouTube, all sorts. Uh, you can go ahead and connect the module to a hotspot by clicking the Wi-Fi network in the top left. And then you have some minor settings under factory. Um, it's suggested that we don't usually come to this section much unless you're adding some cameras or changing your AC display. And the rest should be straightforward. There we go, easy as that. And then, cool, you can go ahead and use the steering wheel controls to switch songs and up the music. There we go. And then go ahead and change the track. There we go, just like that. Cool. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope my installation was helpful. Go ahead and grab your system at niftycity.shop. Go ahead and give them a Google search for Nifty City and find your kit there. Enjoy.